Los Angeles, enjoying another sunny filled day. Just had a couple of great coaching conversations this afternoon. And what I wanted to bring to your awareness is this thought about our choice. See, in the conversation I was brought to many awarenesses I had in my high school days, in my thought patterns, in my consciousness. I was holding space for this other, but I had some things and, and, and challenges and thoughts that came into my consciousness that I wanted to bring forth, because really the, the heart of, of what I want to share here is around our choice. It's around the simple, mundane choices we make each and every day. See, if I take out my little handy-dandy whiteboard and say, here I am, and I have a choice of either A or B. A is here, B is here. And then once I'm here, here's another choice. These are all choices that we make, which ultimately change the trajectory of our life. Every choice that we make, whether it's the gas station we go to, or the grocery store we go to, or the movies, or the partner with, or the job we take, they're all just different choices along the way that give us a different framework. It gives us a different journey of our possibilities all different possibilities and if I follow this one I'm out of here if I follow this one all different ways that I can end up I think you might understand what I'm talking about here what I was realizing is the consciousness to which I was at that age as we all are evolving and growing entirely different than I am, am now but to think that I could become thankful for some of the things that now I think are just second nature and the hate and the, the ultimate just negative energy and, and all the things that would flow through me when I thought about the frustration of my family and my parents and my situation. I thought I wasn't good enough and uh, other people had it better and, and it's better, the grass is greener on the other side and it's always this. All of these different choices that I made with that consciousness until a few individuals came into my life that said, well, you can choose differently. You can ask questions that bring balance to your mind so that when you're in the space of making a decision, the mind is actually balanced out so that the mind ends up being the co-navigator to the heart. The heart ends up being the true navigation captain of your soul, of your body, of your spirit. And that's often what I talk about when I do a discussion into being the captain of your vessel. Being the captain of your vessel. Being the captain of, of your body, of your mind, of your emotions, of everything. So that when it comes down to this point of decision, we have greater resources, we have greater understanding. The perceptions to which we see the outside world is in greater balance, enabling us to open up the heart to make a decision for how we want to move forward. What's really incredible about that is the heart just speaks in this really grounded, concrete way. You can call it intuition. You can call it just that knowingness from within. And like any other muscle in your body, when you begin to lean in and trust and know that heart, rather than just relying upon the perceptions of the mind, because remember, if my perceptions of the good and the bad and the ugly and the cruel and the naughty and the nice are all in balance, then I can actually make the decision to lean in with my heart so that my world begins to be like the ideal vision that I want and not to the subordination and the misperceptions and the monkey mind that goes doo -doo 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 all around and we just caught in, in the frustration and the overwhelmingness and everything else that moves in through those emotions when our mind is running a million directions but when we slow down and tune into this wisdom tune in to this incredible way of being that's right here at your fingertips See, when I was thinking in the past, in those moments of high school, in the consciousness to which I had, no one had been willing to ask me the questions that people have 
in the coaches I've had in my life, in the trainings that I've done, and all of the different journey that I've taken, like many of you have as well, but what do those questions do? Those questions literally bring about a new pathway, a new pathway to see the world that you never even thought possible before until someone asked that question, until that viewpoint became possible in your consciousness. Because if no one ever asked you the question or you're never willingness to make that change, then ultimately your world will just always be that same pathway. But when you can open up the possibilities that are present and then lean into the knowledge of the heart, then the pathway presented is incredible. The pathway presented is from the heart. The pathway presented leads to incredible ways to open up that wisdom. But see, when that decision comes in, often we go to our comfort zone. We go to that space that we know. We go to that space that we always have done the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But often we're hitting the same brick wall over and over and over and over and over again. So what questions can we ask ourselves in our consciousness that enable us to see the same individual, to see the same situation, to see the same knowingness that we felt inside of our soul, to see our perceptions in a different light, to see our perceptions in a different world. Because my world can be con completely different than your world, but that's the beauty of this life. But ultimately, we all have a series of highs and lows and goods and bads that we're bringing to balance in our consciousness in this being, in this humanness that we move through. So why not be willing to ask those questions to change the trajectory of your life that probably maybe isn't working anymore, that isn't shifting anymore. See, when I, as a young man, found somebody that asked those questions for me, found an incredible coach who asked those questions to me, I began to see my world differently. I began to move into a space of gratitude, into a space of thankfulness, into a space of thanks. Thank you, God, for this opportunity of my life, for this opportunity that all of those years presented, all those times when I thought I was just the worst off kid in the world, that everybody in the world had it better than me. Can you relate? Maybe. Can you relate right now? Do you think everybody out there has a better life than you? Do you think everybody out there is doing something better than you? They might be doing something better, they might be doing something worse, but it's not you. You're uniquely amazing just as you are. Just as you are, you are amazing. And know that. But be willing to shift, be willing to change inside of the, the beautiful dynamic being that you are. See, that's where transformation occur occurs. That's where true shift happens. When we're willing, when we show up in our vulnerability, when we're willing to let go of the old patterns and just say, you know what? It's not working anymore. I'm here. I love myself. I love the people around me. And I'm willing to show up in my confidence, in my vulnerability, and do so very purposefully, very powerfully, and without a getting stuck into the fantasy of what we think we're creating, and just dropping in, dropping in slowly into the now, not moving a million di directions at one time, but dropping into the now, right here, so that when we have this decision come across our desk, we can recognize how it can be good, we can recognize how it can be bad. And then in doing so, it gives us the space to say, no, this is what my soul wants. This is what my spirit wants. This is what my inner knowingness, my inner wisdom, that intuition is driving me towards. Let me know if this relates to you. If you have comments, if you have questions, if you want greater clarity, feel free to reach out to me at lifebeyondcomfort at gmail.com. Happy to have a greater conversation with you about this, exact, about this exact dialogue. I do weekly group coaching calls. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm here to serve, to awaken, to help 
give people the questions, to help pe give people the awarenesses that can bring a greater level of enhancement. That's what we're about, enhancing the quality of our lives. What more beauty is there to live in joy, to live in inner peace, and to live in fulfillment, enthusiasm, in this love of life. That's what this is about. All the challenges that come in, all the support that comes in, when we get addicted to any of it, it's going to continue in that addiction until we drop into this loving, drop into this way of being, drop into that balanced perceptions in the mind so that we can, in fact, live from the wisdom of our heart. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your time, for your love, and for your wisdom. Again, reach out to me, lifebeyondcomfort.com. And you can email me at lifebeyondcomfort at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Aloha.